Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some forces interacting virtual labs using the PHET website. These are HTML5, which means they will run on your mobile device. So we've got a uh, bin filled with some items, and we can start adding people to it's basically a tug of war. The larger the person, the larger the force they're going to be able to apply. So I'm just going to toggle these. Uh, as it stands right now, we've got 150 Newton force towards the left, and if I click go, obviously the bin is going to move towards the left. And I'm going to add a person on the opposite side. Now, the right force is 150 Newtons, the left force is 150 Newtons. So if we had a tug of war with equal forces on either side, obviously they would be balanced and nothing would be moving. We can add an extra person on the right hand side. So now it tells us there's a total pull of 200 newtons towards the right with only 150 towards the left, giving us a sum of forces of 50 newtons towards the right. Now we can add a speed to this. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually give us an acceleration. It can show us a qualitative increase in speed. So now if we go back and replace or add an extra person on this side, now we've got an extra 50 newtons towards the left. Put another person here, it's balanced. Once again, we should have zero speed, zero acceleration, zero sum of forces. Okay, so now we're going to push against a force of friction. The double arrow will go up by 50s at a time. And I'm just going to start going up by 1s. And what you'll notice is I'm applying a force of 119 newtons. Friction is matching at 119, which is why the sum is zero and we haven't actually started to move yet. So now you'll notice that we have an applied force of 127 newtons. The frictional force is only 94 newtons, giving us a sum of or a net force of 33 newtons. And you'll notice that the speed is increasing. So we're undergoing acceleration. I'm just going to decrease my applied force until I hit 94. And when you do that, your applied force and your frictional force are equal to each other, which means there is no more acceleration or you're moving at a constant speed. Let's move something with a little bit more mass. So I'm going to put the garbage can on top. At 300 newtons of applied force, the frictional force is still 300 and there is no sum of forces and we're not moving yet. 350, my applied force, frictional force is still 350, so we're not moving it. And right there we just overcame the static friction. So we have a net force now of 96 newtons and we're obviously accelerating. My frictional force is 281, so I'm just going to decrease this until we get down to an applied force of 281. When that happens, our acceleration will stop and we will continue to move on at a constant speed. So now my forward applied force and the frictional forces are exactly the same, which means we have no net force and we are undergoing uniform motion.